Hey everybody, welcome to our Monday night devotional. Um, as we talked about on Friday, we are switching gears a little bit and we are going to talk about prayer um, up to Wednesday this uh, week. So tonight's devotional is called A Prayer for Courage. So I think this is a great topic that we can all learn some more about right now. So let's pray and we'll get started. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for today, Lord. I thank you for the beautiful weather. Lord, I thank you for our leaders that are working working on reopening Ohio for us, Lord. Um, and I just pray that everybody would be willing to follow our leaders as we um, continue down this journey that we're currently on. Uh, Lord, I pray for each and every one that will watch this video and Lord, just be with us in the next few minutes and as we continue throughout our day. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so let's talk about prayer for courage. So it is really easy to talk about Jesus at church. You're at church, so of course you're going to be talking about Jesus. It's easy, as, easy for us to talk about faith with people we feel safe with and who share our belief. But how easy is it to talk about Jesus at school or on the playground or on the playing field? Jesus gave us the command to go and tell the world about him. If we pray for courage, God will give it to us. He will make us bold so we can tell others about Jesus. So my questions for you this evening are, do you ever talk about your faith at school? Now, I know we're not in school right now. But we were just a few short months ago. So did you ever talk about your faith at school? Have you ever told someone who doesn't go to church about Jesus? And what was that like if you have? Is there something that keeps you from inviting a friend like that to church? When the disciples began preaching about Jesus, they knew that talking about Jesus could get them in trouble. Even after being thrown in jail, they prayed for the courage to keep sharing the good news of Jesus. So let's turn in our Bibles to Acts chapter 4, and we're going to start in verse 23. Again, that's Acts chapter 4. All right, so Acts chapter 4, and we're starting in verse 23. And so my um, Bible labels this a prayer for boldness. So boldness could be another word for courage. So we're going from verse 23 to verse 31. After they were released, they went to their own people and reported everything the chief priests and the elders had said to them. When they heard this, they all raised their voices to God and said, Master, you are the one who made the heaven, the earth, and the sea, and everything in them. You said through the Holy Spirit, by the mouth of our father David, your servant, Why did the Gentiles rage? And the peoples plot futile things. The kings of the earth took their stand, and the rulers assembled together against the Lord and against his Messiah. For in fact, in this city, both Herod and Pontius uh, sorry, plot, plotty, with the Gentiles and the people of Israel, assembled together against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed, to do whatever your hand and your plan had predestined to take place. And now, Lord, consider their threats and grant that your slaves may speak your message with complete boldness while you stretch out your hand for healing, signs, and wonders to be performed through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. When they had prayed, the place where they were assembled was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak God's message with boldness. So what does that say to you? So what it says to me is that God is bigger than anything. He can help us overcome any obstacle. His love is endless and he wants to reach everyone. Through prayer, God can give us boldness we need to share our faith. 
So my challenge for you for this evening and going through this week, because you know I'm going to build on this challenge all week, is there someone you know who doesn't currently go to church? I am sure that all of us know somebody that doesn't currently go to church. Start praying for them. Ask God for the opportunity to tell them about your faith and ask him for the courage to speak up. Ask God to prepare their hearts so they will receive the message of Jesus with gladness. I'll see you guys tomorrow night.